welcome back or welcome to my channel I hope you all are doing great today and first of all I know that I was not posting any videos for the past two weeks so I'm so sorry about that it's just that I got sick I got an eye infection so I had a red eye I was on medications and I was supposed to rest and not put any makeup on anything on so I was on a break but the good news is that I am back with another video Okay, so before we get into this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you go subscribe to my channel because that will help me grow. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I will leave my Instagram somewhere here and you can go follow me on my Instagram as well. DM me about any questions or anything that you want to know or whatever videos you want me to post. Let me know in the Instagram. I am trying to be more active on my Instagram as well. So today in this video, I will be talking about what stuff you need to pack um, uh, when you have planned to immigrate to Canada as an international student, as somebody on work permit. So this is a video for everyone who is planning to come to Canada, but specifically for students. So I will be uh, trying to focus on what are the main things, like the major things that you for sure need to get and then rest, um, you can figure out if you have extra space. So without further ado, let's start this video. Okay, so I am going to mark the major parts here uh, for you guys to uh, kind of categorize the things. So the first is going to be documents, the second is going to be clothing and shoes, the third is going to be personal hygiene, fourth is going to be kitchen, fifth would be linen, sixth is going to cosmetics, and seventh is going to be your electronics. So for documents, obviously you guys are aware about it, that you need to have a file with all your education documents, your school, college, whatever your documentation is needs to be there. Then you need to make sure that you have your passport, your visa approval letter, your offer letter, all your fee receipts, like whatever documentation your agent gave you, make sure you uh, bring those with you in your document folder. Then um, these days uh, you need to have your COVID tests on hand, you need to have your quarantine details and everything. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is a traveling card. So for all of you who don't know what a traveling card is, it is basically a kind of forex card. So basically what we do is we add funds to that card and whatever country we land in we just tap it or swipe it and uh, it automatically gets converted into a particular currency if that makes sense i would always recommend you guys to get that traveling card with you because that is way too helpful especially now that when you will be in quarantine for like 14 days that will help you guys another thing that i'm gonna add to this is make sure you guys have your paypal account working and a card link to it because once you come here in a quarantine hotel and you don't like the food or you're just hungry and you want to eat something not all the delivery food partners accept those cards um the last thing in documents is going to be your indian four-wheeler license so i know it's not like way too important but if you want to come to canada and you want to get your driver's license right away then it is going to help you so next we are going to talk about clothes and shoes so i want you guys to be very very particular about what clothing and shoes you get here because you don't need a whole bunch of stuff because canada has almost everything available in different price range depending on how much you want to spend so clothing and shoes shouldn't be a problem for you so get like as less as possible so i would ask you to get like a few t-shirts that you could wear when working uh, you could get some really nice sweatpants next i'm gonna ask you to get yourself one to two hoodies just in case then get yourself the jeans as well like three to four pairs of jeans so because you will be in quarantine for 14 days i want you guys to make sure that you get yourself some nice pairs of socks because it might be cold inside the hotels and stuff maybe six to seven pairs of socks next which is very very important and a lot of people don't know about it is to get yourself a professional suit because a lot of you guys have your co-ops and it is required that you need to wear a professional uh, uniform. So what people do is they just ask each other for blazers and stuff. So rather than doing that, get yourself a nice pair of blazer 
and a black pants and a white shirt if you could don't get like the heavy puffer warm jackets because those are not gonna work here uh, once you come here you need to get a snow um, jacket for yourself during the winters and that you have to get it from here only you need to invest in it so don't bother yourself uh, by getting those puffer and the warm jackets just get yourself a denim and then a leather jacket if you want to that is completely your choice but just in case just get yourself those if you have a nice pair of sports shoes then you definitely get that because that is what you are going to wear the whole time when you will be traveling by bus or trains so get yourself a nice sports shoes if you don't have those in india or back home then i ask you to wait and get it from here because here the quality is way too better so if you don't have it then i would ask you to save the money and get it from here then i would ask you to get yourself a pair of slipper and a pair of uh any designer shoes whatever you want to wear next we are going to talk about personal hygiene way 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 too important so because you will be staying in quarantine for 14 days again uh, it is important that you get yourself those personal hygiene stuff for personal hygiene i would ask you to get yourself obviously the a toothbrush, the toothpaste, um, body wash, um, your shampoo, conditioner. So with your shampoos and conditioner, you need to be very particular here in Canada because once you come here, you are going to shed a lot. And trust me, don't bring Tresemme, Pantene, that kind of stuff because that is going to make your hair even worse. Then I would ask you to bring yourself uh, your shavers, whatever the hygienic things are, the shaving creams, the uh, the razors. And for, uh, for women, I would ask you to bring yourself some lingerie because lingerie is expensive here. So get yourself like four or five pairs of those. And for men's as well, get yourself like um, five to six pairs of boxers because then again it, it will be hard for you guys to find it so in the initial times you need to uh, get yourself stocked up on that next will be towels um deodorants and perfumes whatever you use make sure you have those with you and the last thing will be uh, sanitary napkins so for all the women out there get yourself your sanitary napkins like get yourself three to four packets like the big packs of those because once you come here it will be hard for you to find those as well they're not that expensive here but uh in the during the initial times it will be hard for you to figure out which ones are gonna work for you so get yourself some of those for sure then we are going to talk about linen so uh, in linen i would ask you to get yourself uh, two bed sheets and that's it don't bother yourself getting pillow and quilt but if you have extra space then yeah you can go for it then we are going to talk about cosmetics so cosmetics is again very important so for women uh, makeup and other uh, cosmetics they are kind of expensive here so if you want to get yourself like those lipsticks and stuff from india you can go for it but honestly you won't have enough time but if you want to get like the body lotions hair oils and stuff um, get yourself two to three uh, bottles of those especially if you are using any prescribed uh, lotions face wash or uh, any prescribed cosmetic then you get yourself like three to four uh, bottles of those because uh, again it's covid time so we don't know how convenient the courier services are right now next we are going to talk about electronics so people get way too confused about what electronics to get the so the first and foremost is your laptop if you have a laptop with you right now then just get yourself that and that will stay with you in the cabin and if you do not have a laptop right now and you feel like yeah you need to get a laptop for your education and stuff then i would ask you to save that money and get the laptop from here so next and very important is the shoe converter so i will show you the shoe converter once we will be down in the kitchen then uh, make sure you have your power bank as well and that stays in your purse or whatever bag you're carrying with you then will be your charging cable your headphones now for all the women out there I would ask you to not get yourself a straightener, hair colors, hair dryers and all that stuff because that is going to weigh a lot and again though all those things are very affordable and very good quality here in Canada. Now we are going to talk about some extra stuff that you need to get. So for your extra stuff, your prescription medicines. 
um, so if you are on any prescribed uh, medication make sure you get those with the prescription letter from a doctor and you have those in your personal baggage like the carry-on ones so next because again you will be in quarantine so I would ask you to get yourself um, some Maggie's instant soups like all those instant meals that you can just put it in the saucepan add water and boom they're ready glasses and prescription lenses are again very expensive here in Canada so uh, get yourself those so I'm gonna show you real quick what stuff to get from the kitchen like the utensils, utensils and everything so first will be the pan uh, not any non-stick pan but make sure it is induction safe like anything like that I know this is way too big but get yourself a smaller one because I don't have the small ones to show so yeah it needs to be induction safe next will be a saucepan um, which you will be using to make yourself tea coffee so any saucepan then a pressure cooker make sure you get a nice pressure cooker because pressure cookers are expensive in Canada then get yourself a plate a bowl then uh, if you're someone who uses a rolling pin then you can get yourself a rolling pin as well and for all of you who do not use a rolling pin and uh, like for all the South Indian people out there you can get yourself uh, the idli stands uh, it'll be way too harder for you to find idli stands in Canada and if you would find it they will be very expensive so you can get yourself the idli stands from India it'll be useful for you um, like those dhokla uh, bowls and stuff you can get those from India they will be very too helpful and then if you want you can get yourself a tawa as well and if you don't want to get a tawa if you think like you have a lot of stuff then you can use this kind of pan you can use something which looks like this again and then you can use that one for your pan and tawa as well it is very important to get yourself a spoon a fork some spatulas and uh, a knife and now let's talk about the mugs so i would ask you to get yourself a microwavable mug like anything like this is going to work uh, if you want to get the plastic ones i think it'll be way too better i've seen a lot of students getting the plastic mugs because they don't break and then they are microwavable and everything but i personally love these ones okay so this is the shoe converter that i'm talking about make sure you get two of these because these are going to help you a lot looks like this and then they have these plugs that pops up looks like these because this is the plug that works in canada this one so make sure you have it all right guys so i think i covered most of the things in here if you still have any questions you can let me know down in the comments and i will try to uh, make a video on that as well and try to resolve that if you have any personal questions or anything that you need help with you can always always uh, dm me on my instagram uh, which i'm gonna leave somewhere here so this is it for today's video if you guys like this video make sure you like comment share and subscribe to my channel and until next time